Welcome to my channel Mindset Mastery Hub where I'll be sharing with you the review of the best books on success in all fields of life. Today I'll be sharing with you the review of Do the Epic Shit by Ankur Varku. Ankur Varku is the author of this book. He is an entrepreneur and investor. He is also the founder of startup nearby.com. This book is an compilation of author's thoughts. This book is a reminder of how life happens to all of us in a similar yet unequal fashion. It gives the golden nuggets on life lessons. So let's begin with the review of this book, Do the Epic Shit, Part 1, Success and Failure. Nothing beats the feeling of having done more in 24 hours than what you expected to do. Example, you plan to do five tasks this morning. Ended up doing seven with more productivity and far greater energy. That joy, that emotion, whenever you accelerate your own self, is the true achievement. Time goes away and leaves us with only one of these two things: regret or results. How we think of our problem is how the world will think of our problems. If we exaggerate our problem, so will the world. If we are happy despite our problems, the world will help us to get happier. When we rule ourselves, we can never be ruled by our problems. You are what you do and not what you say you will do. We know ourselves through our thoughts, but we know others through their actions. It does not matter what we say, what matters is what they see doing us. Luck happens to those that make things happen. Your actions decide your luck. Luck isn't really a good fortune. Luck is what eventually happens when your hard work yields results. Persistence isn't one day miracle. It is a conscious choice translated into habit. The result of no effort is nothing. The result of persistent effort is a habit where you cannot fail. Consistency plus authenticity is the magic formula to crack the success game. This makes you enjoy the process. If you are not authentic, you will struggle to be consistent. The world will constantly be defining success and failure for you. When you get a new job, it is defined as success. But when you get a new job with salary less than your neighbors, then it is defined as a failure. Getting married by 25 is defined as success, but then got divorced by 30 is a failure. The truth is, your current rules of success and failures have been written by the world. Go ahead and rewrite them for yourselves. Success is a relationship you have with your own self. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated. The world is going to treat you how it wishes to treat you. You don't control that. You only need to choose who you listen to. There is someone out there who values you, starting with your own self. Most sports are not played on the field; they are played in the mind. The best sportsmen have coaches who work on their mind training. The inner world drives the external world always. To know what you don't know is power. To ask and learn what you don't know is superpower. Finding a mentor is a journey everyone should embark on. Have multiple mentors for different aspects of your life. When you pick a mentor who is of the same age and experience as yours, they understand your problems, they highlight your issues, and offer suggestions based on what they wish they had. You don't find your passion, you grow your passion. Passion is persistence because that is the reason you are still in it despite all the reasons to quit. Passion is showing you to do the work. Passion is signing up for hard work because not choosing it would be more harder. Once you succeed, people see only success. If you fail, they see only failure. They don't see the journey. No one sees the multiple failures before one gets huge success. What you become during the process of success and failure is what most important. Success or failure happened as a result. Three relationships that define almost everything that happens to us in our lives are: first is the relationship we have with the money; second, the relationship we have with the time; and the third is the relationship we have with ourselves. There is a temporary discomfort in doing the unconventional. There is a permanent discomfort. in living life as a template while you are building your skills the most important thing to build is your reputation the best gift 
you can give yourself and to others is to take care of your own happiness. The excuse is the distance between who you are and who you wish to be. Listening to someone without judgment or advice is the most precious gift you can give someone. No one owes you their time and money. You earn it every day by the work you do. Meet as many people as you can in your early career days. Do as many jobs you can. Explore as many streams as you can. Find out what you are good at and what makes you happy and then utilize your time doing that for the rest of your life. As you go professional, it is not what you know but how you deal with the people that determines your success. Time is the only thing that matters. Everything else can wait. Part 2 Habits Developing habits helps you to achieve the biggest things in life. Be it a habit of sleeping on time or creating content religiously to help others on day to day basis. Love your good habits. Habits build us. Goals lay us barren. Targets are the enemy of habits. Don't set targets. Set habits. Setting targets instead of habits makes us forget the kind of person we want to become. We do not want to crack just the sales numbers. We want to solve more of the customer problems. The more we get the process right, the closer we get to the target. The more we run after the targets, the more we sign up for feeling hollow once we achieve it. Habits hire us forever and takes us higher, whereas target tame us and leave us clueless after we achieve them. Don't try to minimize your struggle, try to make it more meaningful. You can never minimize your struggle, it only suppresses your emotion. Three things that are important in life are, firstly, how you spend your first hour after you wake up, whether you do exercise, meditation or look at your social media. Secondly, how you spend your last hour before going to sleep, whether you spend quality time with your family or watch TV episodes. And lastly, how you schedule your daily work efficiently. Daily progress isn't about becoming an expert in your field. It is developing the mindset that progress is a way of life. We know others through their actions. We know ourselves through our thoughts. We may have a hundred plans, but what others see is the one we are executing. Plans are useless without actions. Thoughts are powerful when they are converted into actions. Without actions, they are simply broken promises. Optimize your learning and not your salary. Optimize yourself for the growth and not for stability. Optimize yourself for facing the fears and not for comfort. No step is small as long as it is headed in the direction of where you want to go. By following the right set of people, opportunities will come by design, not by luck. You become like the people you spend your time with. Setting the right environment is super important. Never work from your bed. Always on a working table. Never read lying down. Always read on a chair. Do not underestimate your surroundings while you are trying to create a workflow. Keep the book that you want to read where you can see it easily. Apply your favorite perfume when starting the day. These things work. The human mind is conditioned to feel happy and fulfilled while making progress. Set your life in such a manner that you can measure this progress. Even a tiny improvement in your productivity will yield results over time. Part 3 Awareness Decisions are not for decoding destinations. Decisions are for understanding the path you want to demonstrate next. When we hate our day job and have set aside the weekend for a job we like, we instead go out with friends. We go to late night parties when we are trying to set up a fixed bedtime and to get up early next day for physical exercise. Emotional death has killed more people than financial death. The depth of never saying I love you to your parents. The death of never apologizing to the friend who are always with you. The death of never living for your happiness because you are busy pleasing others. This emotional death piles on will continue to kill us within every single day we live. Being calm is a skill. Being calm when you are left alone. Being calm when you are quiescent. Anyone can be calm when things are calm. Being calm despite the storm is a powerful skill. Fear has led to more procrastination than laziness. You don't procrastinate because you are lazy. You procrastinate because you are scared of. What if I fail? 
what if i had to face the rejections you aren't lazy you simply aren't ready to meet yourself on the other side of the success finding security in your own achievement is the biggest achievement do not confuse calmness with the lack of fire calmness doesn't mean lack of drive it rather means having the power to turn that drive into actions calmness brings ideas to execution thoughts to action your self talk determines your self worth we are all the stories we tell to ourselves example i am a loser i can never wake up early i can never get along with the people or if i take small steps i can do it i am enough i have handled more difficult things in the past movement brings momentum stagnation amplifies sadness if you are not having fun while doing it people will see through it happiness is the language that communicates through your face and your eyes procrastination gets promoted to problems most decisions in life are reversible we can change most decisions once we make it most of us do not think so because we attach outcomes to the decisions if we start making decisions knowing they are reversible we will discover how much lies ahead of us just because we decide to act knowing when to say no and saying it is a life skill if you are truly yourself all the time you don't have any competition comparing yourself to others is the biggest waste of time everyone has different beginnings different temperaments of parents totally different interest and hobbies different ways people pursued success different teachers who taught you to fit in and you expect yourself to outsmart someone else if you truly want to compare compare yourself to who you were yesterday we always have two choices the easy one the right one example it's easy to delay a submission of your work but it's the right thing to submit within timeline it's easy to gossip about a colleague but the right thing is to understand your colleague's point of view it's easy to do easy things but it's never wrong to do the right things you don't control what the world says about you you control what you say when the world says something about you because how you respond is how the world will treat you further on people will help you only when you help them understand how they can do the things the hardest thing in the world is telling yourself that it's not hard at all for example it is not hard to wake up early it is not hard to make money it is not hard to express love it is not hard to ask questions what's hard is convincing your mind that it is not hard that you can do it loss is a result fear is an input you don't control your results you always control your inputs so if you decide your input you already have created your output instead of worrying about what might happen anticipate what good might happen our powers to imagine is both a strength and weakness instead of imagining what if i fail in the dream project imagine what if my dream project takes off with the flying colors we can build our own prisons through our thoughts or let go of all the limitations and imagine the best outcome possible a corporate job can be a great start to a career it teaches you the value of structure processes and systems corporate job teaches you how small individual actions come together to complete a bigger project it gives you stability early on a meaningful job need not be the one that completely consumes your whole life you may love your job but if it leaves with a little space for yourself it is not the right job it's important to have your own space it is super important not to let your job encroach your life you are not the only one struggling many are struggling and facing challenges everyone is figuring out the best possible solution to lead a happy life don't be harsh on yourself be grateful in life for what you have is precious the greatest illusion is that life should be perfect the easiest way to learn from the mistakes is to read books the next option is to implement them on yourself books are a great way to learn from the mistakes and the best way to collapse the timeline is by deriving lessons from the author's point of view and making them your own complaining has never led someone to a solution complaining amplifies the problems makes us feel the victim the real problem was never a real problem it was the compound effect of complaining doing exercise teaches you discipline and patience
you will only see the change only if you show up every day and just be patient how you treat someone who has nothing to offer defines your value system your values don't help you to grow but in your bad times your values hold you together part 4 entrepreneurship as a founder you need to show up every single day despite how you are feeling or how the startup is doing or your customers are shouting at your product capability is rarely the question mark in life it is always the intent no one lacks talent people are best at what they do when people are driven to bring their right intent on the table they are the best one to surprise themselves with the capabilities entrepreneurship is not a profession it is a state of mind you can have a job and think of building new things energizing your team and making sure you are helping to grow the business figure out the right problem to solve treat your job like your own business you do not necessarily need to have a startup in order to become an entrepreneur you can start where you are move things that need to be moved and you are an entrepreneur compounding is the biggest miracle of life for the longest time you would continue investing religiously you would see the normal gains over time the gains would skyrocket your success as a founder depend on how close you are able to get people to their solution who you are and where you came from doesn't matter what you do is all that matters simple steps to hire people is step number 1 attitude step number 2 is their experience step number 3 is the education in hiring people skills can be taught attitude is really hard to teach while finding the right people for your team it always helps to pick the ones who loves the culture of your team even if they lack the skills their attitude will help them to grow a successful skilled individual will struggle hard to grow if he sees negativity in every possibility attitude compensates for the skills build a team so strong that someone from outside doesn't know who the boss is when you trust your team members and when you run your team no one from the outside will be able to know who the leader is because now everyone is a leader entrepreneurship is the most spiritual way to discover yourself there are initial days of fun of new office beautiful furniture and then comes the finer details making money building a team growing fast developing a culture how you handle yourself and your mental state during the times when everything is not a bed of roses truly determines who you are The toughest skill as a leader is to be calm during the toughest moments. Anyone can be calm when you are hitting the numbers or when the customer is satisfied. The power to be calm when your team's morale is low, the power to empower your team members despite their mistakes and the drive to move them forward when things aren't moving forward are the greatest skills of a leader. Most people who want to start a business think they should quit their job and launch a startup. Others says is not always true work during night times weekends and test your idea out build a culture that picks people up when they are down be a part of such a culture ideas are hardly new your idea is not a startup your approach to a problem is a startup the worst thing a company does to its employee is rate them once a year tell them how well they did and finally measure them on metrics they didn't even know they were being assessed on it's sad that most employees do not know the entire 12 months what the management is thinking about them the best feedback is stated in a real time or in fortnight or weekly it is the employees that run the company and not the other way around the moment companies become aware of this truth everything changes it is easy for anyone to start a company it is super difficult to build a place where people would love to come to work where people are respected for who they are and most importantly where people grow at work and as individuals the three worst reasons to become an entrepreneur is the first one i want to make money second one i hate my current job and the third is everyone is doing it so i will launch a startup entrepreneurship is hard for the longest time it wouldn't give you the luxuries of a salaried job also you will have multiple bosses instead of one part 5 money while people think money is important it is the worst use of your time and life to keep running after it money buys freedom 
Freedom is a privilege. That freedom helps you to make wiser choices. Author gives some simple yet powerful tips on money. Tip number one: Do not invest completely on assets which is difficult for liquidity, like startups or real estates. When unfortunately tough time comes, there is a lot of paper wealth but no cash. Tip number two: Do not panic and sell the stocks when the market is at the bottom. Tip number three: Do not break or withdraw from your fund investment. to generate cash because you are basically breaking the compounding growth tip number 4 taxes are a real thing always look at your tax adjusted returns part 6 relationship there are some flaws in you that you would never like to see in anyone else yet you keep living with those flaws the change we want in others is the change we need to begin with we invite what we allow be prepared to heal yourself if you have to most people choose to live with this tragedy and call it fate the bold ones choose to change what happened to them by actively healing themselves holding a grudge against someone requires lot of effort when we hold grudge against someone we do the same thing they did to us they hurt us once we hurt ourselves 100 times by repeating it in our head every problem in this world can be traced back to a point of miscommunication or relationship sustains on communication there is a big difference between saying thank you and feeling thankful saying thank you shows obligation whereas feeling thankful shows admiration we create our relationship by what we choose to give your kindness might cause you pain a sense of betrayal be kind anyway not everyone is going to reciprocate your kindness yet kindness is always the right thing to do not for anyone's validation but for your own validation empathy cannot be taught you are either born with it or not empathy is to understand what others feelings are going through no one can teach you how to understand others feelings no one is worthless everyone knows something you don't when we approach people with the mindset that they don't know anything we close our doors to learning something new everyone has stories stories that create their filters respect doesn't come if you are a ceo founder leader or a manager or even a senior citizen it comes from the conduct respect comes from what you do and who you are people who are loved the most are the ones who believe that they are worthy of love the best relationships have the best acceptance despite their differences one of the biggest decisions you will make in your life with whom you decide to spend your rest of your life as a life partner don't take it lightly the partner you pick will directly or indirectly decide your free time work finances and most importantly your happiness this is the one decision that could be painful to reverse this is the one decision that will influence almost all your decisions this is the decision that will either make you feel proud of or suffocated every morning we are not the average of five people we spend the most time with we are the average of five thoughts we spend the most time with and our thoughts come from the people we follow on social media the books podcast anything we consume we aren't with the people anymore we are with their ideas thoughts and identities so pick your partner wisely dear friends my favorite quote from this book is luck happens to those that make things happen your actions decide your luck write in the comment box what you like the most from this video and how you are going to implement to start a new life thank you friends for watching this inspiring video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get notification for my next videos as i'll be sharing with you every week many more such inspiring videos it will motivate me to bring many more such similar videos every week share this video with your friends and family members who are trying to find different possibilities to start a new life thank you